Good evening. We will meet you tonight. Good evening. We really appreciate you coming out in the rain and sitting out there and it's cold and everything. It's a real pleasure to be here. Hi, y'all. <laughs> gather at folk festivals to enjoy a special kind of musical experience. They come to hear music, to dance and sing, but also to listen to the lyrics, to reflect on life and love and maybe even their place in the world. Just outside of Toronto, Canada, at the Mariposa Festival, they've been doing this for over 30 years now. From the heyday of the folk scene in the 60s to the newest wave of roots music in the 90s, Mariposa has always been the place to see international stars, local favorites, and unsung heroes. I hear the THMP. Good evening. I'm Ed McNamara. And if, like me, you like singing and enthusiasm, then this is the right time and the right place. It's the Mariposa Folk Festival. Singing is already the order of the day. The travelers and this land. This land is yours. This land is Folk music just isn't as easy to define as it once was. Mariposa still tends to its traditional roots, which is a large part of its appeal. But today the festival has expanded its boundaries beyond this land, bringing together a remarkable variety of music from all over the globe. I think folk or roots music gets discovered by people who get bored with what they're currently listening to. One of the things that festivals like Mariposa have always done is mix and match all this stuff together. It's always been part of the, of the, the mix, that if you could bring somebody who was, who was known to a wider public, they would come to that and they would hopefully go away having had their minds blown by somebody they'd never heard of.
Folk music is a real thing. It's not uh, something that's produced for the marketplace, for the most part. Uh, it's something that's come out of uh, ordinary situations and uh, ordinary people. The very first Mariposa Festival was held in the small town of Aurelia in 1961. Most of the townspeople had never seen anything like it. And some of them were quite upset by the presence of thousands of reckless, bongo-beating folkies in downtown Aurelia. Of course, there are a few people who think that anyone who wears a beard is a beatnik, which is not so. These were all college and university students. They went down to our beautiful uh, Lake Kuchising Beach Park. They slept on the park. They drove their cars over the park lawn. Well, folk music is a pioneer heritage of Canada and North America. Uh, we feel that everything that can be done should be provided to encourage this heritage. beginning of social and political involvement. Those songs said something, there were stories to them. Maybe the stories were three, four hundred years old, but that didn't mean they weren't valid stories. And as soon as people started writing material, of course, then they became even more valid because they were talking about you and me and what we were doing and what we thought. And uh, that's because there was such a, a burgeoning awareness of social and political problems on college campuses at that point. I think that's why folk music became as popular as it did. Building on the tradition of work and protest songs from the 30s and 40s by singers like Woody Guthrie and Lead Belly, folk music by the mid-60s became a rallying cry for people concerned about civil rights and the Vietnam War. We'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls For the times they are a-changing The one thing that I think is sacred is human life. And that's the one thing that's not considered sacred. I mean, a flag is considered sacred, a piece of property is considered sacred, a nation is considered sacred, and because of all those things, human lives just go and go and go. Have you been a blue-eyed son? Where have you been, my darling young one? I've strayed on the side of twelve misty mountains, walked and I've crawled on six crooked highways, been out in front Before this of time, Folk had meant traditional music, but the writers of the new school combined contemporary poetic lyrics with folk and pop song forms to create a modern music that became much more meaningful to the new generation.
I've recently come back from West Germany, which is at this point a pretty exciting place to be. And I saw a lot of people dancing on top of the Berlin Wall. I remember when we were kids in public school, they used to sound the air raid siren off that was on top of our school. And they'd make us all hide under the desk. That was supposed to protect us when the bombs came. But it was enough to scare the hell out of us. Well, I was, I'm very happy about seeing all those people dancing on top of the Berlin Wall. And that's why I wrote this song. It's called The Berlin Wall. scream for the air raid drill we rehearsed our survival skills hide our heads when the white flash comes when they drop the bomb kids still stealing from apple carts told what to do when the big war starts and the symbol of it all was the Berlin Wall Another one shot, the headlines cried They left him lying there till he died Barbed wire and concrete Was the last he'd see We would admire their bravery Us living in freedom and them trying to be free Sometimes to run, sometimes to fall At the Berlin Wall At the Berlin Wall But suddenly the world has changed And spring comes again Spark turns to flame Melts the Cold War away we step back from World War III And we cry out with relief Don't we all stand tall Cause we killed the Berlin Wall We killed the Berlin Wall Didn't we kill the Berlin Wall We killed the Berlin Wall People come together at Mariposa for three days of music, crafts, and workshops. Sometimes, looking around, you'd think that things hadn't changed much since the 60s, with more latter-day hippies per acre than you'd find on your average city street. But while it's true that some people are still drawn nostalgically to the festival, just as often they come to enjoy performers on the leading edge of today's music scene. We all have stories to tell, and we tell them in our own peculiar, individual ways. Uh, maybe what we do is a little bit more, I guess in comparison to some of the other people that are featured during the festival, a little bit more modern, just because we don't have the kind of history that a lot of these people do.
lay your eye on your son I know you got problems, you're not the only one When the sugar left, he left you on the run Some old my, 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 my mom Take a look and up what your boy has done He's walking around like he's number one He went downtown and he got out the gun Said, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me you know you got my sympathy But don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me You know you got my sympathy Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me says that he doesn't even consider himself folk. You know, folk comes from the working people, you know, and um, he learned it from the working people. Me, you know, I, I heard Pete Seeger, I heard Buffalo Springfield, you know, and, and um, the Buzzcocks, you know, and I kind of put it all, smushed it all together, a little bit of Woody Guthrie, a little bit of Brian Wilson, and just made my, you know, my own thing. So I, I consider myself folk influence, but nowhere near folk. I wish I was a man. I'd be a Southern California college freshman. Lord, if I was a man, I'd call guys wimps by calling them a woman. Damn, I wish I was a man. I'd look naturally important at my office desk. Lord, if I was a man, they'd never mistake me as a receptionist. It all traces back to so much of the same roots of well, you you know, human expression, and, and there's a great deal of passion in all the all forms of music, and then and then just tracing even the elements of, of you would look at rock and roll, it goes back to earlier R and B, and then you know then the gospel, and then the you know it all it, it's much more that's similar than dissimilar. I feel like telling the Lord these words. Do you feel like clapping your hands?
gospel was first, and the blues came from gospel. And even the stuff that they're doing now, the rap, that's been here before. It's, it's changes, changes, changes. But it, but it finally goes back to the roots. By listening to the late, great Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, Sonny Boy Williams, and those people's shoes will never be fulfilled. So what I did, I came along just in time to play with those people before they passed away. And I got so much experience from them till I, I, I be, I'm just glad when someone say they got something for me because I'm just passing it on. Just like a slave Five long years Every Friday, y'all I went straight home Yeah, I went straight home with all oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Blues had always been accepted To folk audiences In that acoustic kind of way like, Then it became perfectly acceptable In the folk setting To use the electrified version of that the Muddy Waters and the Howling Wolves and, and the Buddy Guys who, who cranked up the sound and cranked up the volume to become more contemporary on one hand and to become more modern on another, but also to entertain audiences who were into getting loaded in a bar. And if you, if you were just an acoustic guitarist, it was tough to entertain them. How y'all feel? Y'all all right, man? Lord, I'm locked up in love again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woman, I think I'm locked up in love again. Lord, I haven't had no loving for in a dark How was it here last night? It was I, good. I, I, I slept out in the uh, beer tent number one. I was guarding it. <laughs> the violent times were good. They're really good. I enjoyed that. 
it's such a broad range of music. That's the best thing too. You could go there and listen to uh, Daniel Lanois play or whatever, and then go over somewhere else and hear native people drum, which you don't get other places. It was great last night. Are you in here last night? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. pouring rain. We're diehard. We're diehards. Old folkies. Looking forward to a great day. <laughs> Are you old folkies? <laughs> <laughs> well, well not that old. <laughs> Most people come to folk festivals for the music, and the, and that's the most well understood public part and public face of a folk festival. But there are a lot of things that make any any outdoor festival, particularly folk festivals, work. And we are standing right in front of one of the most important elements. If you haven't got a lot of these things, you are boned. No place not to go You sit and watch the sea side Or try to get some dough You know that I don't need No reason to understand I got all the patience Of a working man Well, I've never been stranded And I don't need to I got troubles of my own That you don't need to know Hey, yeah, a working man Troubles like the shoes on my feet and woman's waiting up. She gives me the dickens when I come home late. Well, man, that's got to stop. She knows that I don't need no reason to understand. I got all the patience of a working man. Well, I never been stranded and I don't need to. I got troubles of my own that you don't need to know. Hey, yeah, a working man or a woman. Hey. Mariposa organizers run what they call a gentle festival, so it's not surprising thousands have flocked to the islands this weekend without trouble. But for festivals, this is the year of the gate crashers, and Mariposa today had a growing group. By the late 60s and early 70s, Mariposa had settled into a new home on the Toronto Islands. That's where it really took off. It started attracting some of the biggest names and largest crowds ever seen at the festival. There were a lot of star performers, and some of them showed up unannounced. One year when Bob Dylan showed up by surprise, officials were so worried about crowd control that they denied he was even there. Also had some surprise uh, drop-in visitors here. We've had one or two interesting guests. Uh, who would they be? Oh well, um, uh, uh, Johnny Mitchell dropped in yesterday, and uh, um, uh, Neil Young is around here today. How about Bob Dylan? I understand he's no, he's not here. Not here. No, he's not here. I guess at that time she would have been like the new romantic of folk. It's always been 
music of reality, you know, grim reality or social issues, or if it's a love song, it's a it's a real meat and potatoes kind of music. It's like of the people. Joni's stuff, on the other hand, was out there all kind of gossamer. I've looked at life from those sides now. Some people look at us and say, you've got violent fans and you've got fat man waving. That's not folk music. Well, we don't call it the Mariposa Folk Festival. Haven't for some years. It's been the Mariposa Festival. Um, it's, it's our attempt to drop the F word, to, to drop the limitations that people see on that. because people who really like traditional music, some of them don't like what we do, and people who like like pop music don't really know what the hell we're about. So it's a kind of interesting situation to be in. But I'm very attached to the tradition. At the same time, I'm, I think that if you don't yeah. experiment with tradition, it, it becomes a museum, sort of artifact, like something that dies. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What we've done this afternoon, and I want to thank you for your forbearance and coping with the weather that God sent us today, but the best thing that's happened is that the music has been terrific, and that's the main thing. Stockfield Dave, number one, just so enough. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Dita Bagavan, yes, yes, yes.
I picked up a lot of what I do from hearing violin when I was a little kid. My father played violin and his father did. My father's out there. We don't get together too often, so this is a special occasion. Um, so we try and learn from, from everybody. You know, Daryl's taught me a whole lot about rhythms and, and uh, how to keep good time, basically. <laughs> but I'm here, Claire, please let me speak. I assure you that there's no danger. But the beat of your heart is so weak Marie-Claire, j'ai salé beaucoup de poissons Et les bois du nord maintenant sont tranquilles Je te promets de ne pas boire la boisson Oublie le... My dad, playing the violin, whatever. How old were you then? I was 19. You're kidding. <laughs> Uh, Keep that, don't lose it. Okay, don't lose it. Do you remember what you were playing there? Oh, I was playing the Irish washwoman and uh, Turkey in the Straw, and uh, I used to play the Don Messer Breakdown, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What about that one, Maple Sugar? You used to do yeah. that. You still do that one, eh? Yeah. That's one of my favorites, Maple yeah. Sugar. Yeah, yeah it's great. <laughs> I like the term folk music. I don't think it's outdated. I don't have a problem with it. Folk music means it involves people. And it usually means you learn it from somebody else. And it gets passed. It's like passed on information. Um, folk music is changing all the time. It doesn't mean you're sitting on the back porch with a banjo anymore. Obviously, music must, um, must grow and change. Uh, but I think it's really important that that we don't lose, you know, the, the roots of the music, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Um, I mean, it's one thing to just go back and just do music the way it was back in 1940. That, to me, you know, well, that's okay, but I mean, it's been done. The challenge is to somehow absorb what was good about that and, and then the, go on to, to something else, taking that with you. How's everybody holding up? You freezing? I'm wearing everything I own. <laughs>
accordion sort of weird? The folk festivals have become the major place to hear alternative music. It's an alternative to pop radio. It's an alternative to pop culture, which is becoming more and more restrictive. That's what these things are. Radio, rock concerts, rock media, rock plumbing, rock everything, rock money. Well, where do people go who don't fit those commercial parameters? Well, they go into country or they go into the folk festival circuit to find their concert audience and keep their concert audience. Festivals like Mariposa are a seedbed for new music. Mariposa's always given performers the opportunity to go, play, find an audience, stretch their creative muscles, and then maybe move out from there into a broader cultural milieu. That's happened a lot over the years, and over time, the music has evolved. But no matter how popular the artists become, the festival has never lost sight of where it came from.
much. Good night. Thanks very much. Thank you kindly, folks. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you again. Now, super cool. Thank you. Thank you so much.